Congratulations on purchasing and successfully assembling your Binary Epoch Clock Kit. You've made the Maniacal Lab minions very happy. In this video, we'll show you how to manually set the date and time. As an example, we will set the clock to August 11th, 2013 at 10.35 p.m. or 22.35 as the clock must be set in 24-hour time. To get started, simply press and hold the A button for about one second until the clock enters manual set mode. While in this mode, the display is divided into two sections. The left side of the clock shows the date time positions. From the left, the positions are year one, year two, month one, month two, day one, day two, hour one, hour two, minute one, minute two. Year 1 being the tens place of 13 in 2013, year 2 being the ones place, and so on for the rest of the positions. The right side of the clock shows the value for the current date time position by lighting up the corresponding number of LEDs. To increment the value, you simply tap B. To progress to the next date time position, you simply tap A. We're on the wrong year one value, so I'm going to increment through and make it roll back to one. Now it's on one, that is the one of 2013. We're going to go to year two, and which is the wrong value again, so that's year two, and it's five, should be three. So I'm going to increment that back to three. Next, we go to month one. It is currently on one. We need to be on zero for 08 or August. It rolls around automatically once you've hit the maximum value for the date time position that you are currently in. Next, we go to month two. We need to bring it up to eight for August. Now we go to day one. It's already on one, we're good. And we go to day two. It's on two. We need to bring it back around to one for the 11th. Next, we're going to go to hour one. We need to bring that up to two for 22. Then we're going to go to hour two. It's already three. So we need to bring that back around to two again. Now we go to minute one. It's minute one, shown right there. We're on value three, which is good. We're gonna to go to minute two. It's a bit too high, so we need to bring it back around to five. So now if I hit this one more time, it's gonna roll back to year one. So we've got year one is one, year two is three, month one is zero, Month two is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for August. Day one is one. Day two is one, so that's the 11th. Hour one is two. Hour two is two, that's 2200 hours or 10 p.m. Minute one is three. Minute two is five for 2235. Now to commit the time, simply press and hold A until it returns to normal clock mode. We're going to press and hold A again. So we've got 1, 3, 0, 8, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5. But at this point, I just want to cancel, so I'm going to press and hold B, which will bring me back to the regular clock mode without setting the time. That's all there is to it. Enjoy your clock, and thanks for watching.